In this walkthrough, you'll learn how to use approvals inside of Microsoft Teams. Approvals are a built-in capability of Teams that you can leverage to request and manage approvals from your hub for teamwork. These approvals can be started and managed from a channel conversation, a chat, or even from the approval app directly. These approvals do not require Power Automate flows. But if you wish to extend or build a more complex approval process, then you will need to leverage flow. Teams-based approvals cannot be customized beyond the various settings that you specify when starting the approval, such as approvers or even attaching files. Let's look at how to create and manage and respond to approvals in Teams via the Approvals application. To begin, we logged into Microsoft Teams as Patty, who would like to request the approval to attend Microsoft Ignite from Alex. To do so, Patty's going to start a new conversation here in the Sales and Marketing channel by clicking New Conversation. And then if Patty uses this icon right here, she can create an approval. So by clicking the icon, it will open up a window where she can then begin to fill in her things like the request type. So does she want a basic request or an e-signature request? She choose basic, the name of her request, permission to exhibit at Microsoft Ignite. For approvers, she can go down here and if she begins to type in names, she should see a suggestion for Alex Wilbur. Sounds great. If she had multiple approvers, then she could determine whether or not she would want all approvers to have to approve this to move forward or just for one of them. And she could do this with this button here. If she wanted to provide additional details about what she planned to do, why she needed the approval, she could enter that information here. As well, if she scrolls down a little bit further, she can do attachments. So if she wanted to attach the sales flyer for the event or other information, she could attach those files. She also has the ability to create a custom response. So maybe instead of approve or rejected, she wanted to change the responses to be something like yes, no, and maybe, then she could add those responses here. We're not gonna do that now, but it would be an option. And then finally, she'd have the option to customize sending to another environment if she was doing this from inside the approvals app, which she's not. So it all looks good. So if we press send here, and so since this is the first time that Patty has used the approvals app, she needs to consent to choose. So she's just gonna say continue here. And so now you can see within the context of the Teams channel, the request is here. So here she could view her details or continue on. Now, if we switch browser tabs over to Alex, Notice we have the green browser header here to kind of annotate that we are with Alex right now. And if you look, Alex now has activity. And so you can see that he has this request pending for him. So he could do it from his uh, activity here. He could respond. Or if he returns to the Teams channel directly, so Teams, and then that was under the sales and marketing, you'll see that that request is sitting here as well. So Alex can respond from this location as well. He could say view details. This pops up the card to show what has happened to this point. He could add a comment and he could approve or reject. So looks great. And then approve. And so then now this will update within the channel and we will see this update is approved. Perfect. And if we switch back over to Patty, she could also see that this task has been approved. Perfect. Now let's switch back over to Alex again. Back over here is Alex. Another thing we want to explore because this is showing doing in the context of a team, you could go into chat. And so if we went into one of these chats, you'll see that same approval icon. So we could have a group chat or an individual chat and have an approval. As well, if we hit the ellipses here and we look under find an app, we can search for and find approvals. And by clicking this, this will actually open the approvals app, which is a dashboard. So you can see all the different approvals that have been received by Alex. So all the requests that he has out there pending. He still has one he needs to do from earlier this month. We can also look and see all the approvals that Alex has sent, which he hasn't sent any before. But so this gives you the ability to have insight into the different approvals that are going on in the environment. As well, if Alex goes over to his flows and then goes to action items here and does approvals, you're gonna see we have approved the sent, which is also blank. But if we go to history, we'll see all the ones, including the one we just created, permission to exhibit at Microsoft Ignite. So this shows you that the approval interface is intermixed between the two platforms because it's created in the environment. So you can reference these from Flow or from Microsoft Teams. Both of them are available to see them in the dashboards. Even though these approvals, remember, they were created inside of Teams, so they exist only in Teams, but you can't go and customize these. If you want to create a custom approval process, then you would need to go to Microsoft Flow and create yourself a flow. And there you go. Now you know how to create, manage, and respond to approval requests inside of Microsoft Teams.